bumper from Junction 47 on the M4. Lovely woodland stream and then a bank of flowers. And the flower that I'm looking at is the white one here. Okay, so what is this? Here's a view from the top of bird's eye view of the inflorescence there, showing that we have one inflorescence here. This whole thing divided up into separate elements, all joined like an umbrella. And this should give you the family. Then what else do we need to know? Well, maybe it helps to know that we're at the end of May, so this is a relatively early flowering plant. Uh, if you look at the base of the umbrella, i.e. here, you'll see there are no bracts, whereas in some others of this family there are bracts. There are no bracts at all. And where are the leaves on the stem? You can see very finely divided into these long linear leaflets. So the base of the leaf, the petiole, um, actually wraps uh, around the stem, so we get this sheathing base. So finally, look, if you dig down to the roots, then you find at the base there is a swollen root. It's a little tuber. And these actually, these little nuts, are much prized by pigs. There's a clue. Let's clean it up. <clears throat> Thought the stream would come in handy. So there it is, the little nut. And mm. Mm -hmm. it's delicious. It's actually even even better than hazelnuts. No wonder the pigs love them. So how did you do? So the combination of umbrella-like inflorescences, the umbel, tells us it's the Apiaceae, or it used to be the umbellifery, the carrot family, and the linear leaflets, uh, and the um, swollen nut-like roots, uh, all come together to tell us that this plant is the pig nut, Conopodium magus. How did you do?